Okay, it is tomorrow. And the reason I've let this sit for a day is because if I were to float it right away, um, all of my hard earned highlights would just melt. Um, so you've heard me use this term floating quite a bit. And it's a lot like, sounds like I have a, at this point, quite a transparent solution of uh, pigment here. So I've added quite a bit of water to it. And just like it sounds, I'm floating this transparent glaze. Right over my rust crush. And my highlights. And I think you can see it kind of unifies. Sort of a veil. The thing you hear said about a symbol is that it both reveals and conceals. And the float is a pretty good embodiment of that idea. I've mixed this pigment uh, or this float with um, carmine, also known as cochineal. That's that pigment made from desiccated casings from the female cochineal beetle. I don't usually use this pigment because it is not light fast. Um, conservators will say it is a, a fugitive color, which I love, an image of a color running away. I have my palette tipped up here, I might be able to see, because I'm just taking, I've allowed the sort of the sediment to fall to the bottom of my palette because I don't want the heavy grains at this point. going to do this. I painted it with a lighter color. This is meant to be the inside of her hood, but it's not working for me. So I'm going to float over that. Ah. 
and for sort of the most transformative, I hope. Passage here. Hmm. Okay, I was hoping this would be a little more orange. Fear not, I have a Kleenex at the ready. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna orange that up a little more. I'll be right back. 